front wheel. Remember where we said earlier on where there's a compression and the car hits the ground hard, and that's what Fisichella's just hit very hard. It takes you offline momentarily. The underneath of the car is steering the car and not the steering wheel itself, and you, you're just going straight to the scene of the accident. And uh, luckily Hello. for him, it's, him. Uh, oh, it's who's that? Is that Schumacher gone off? Well, when we need it's a Jordan, we need a good look at it. It is Schumacher, and he was in fifth position. Now, he's, he's well and truly in the gravel trap. He looks perfectly, well, he is perfectly okay. You wouldn't get over the arm co like that if, uh, if you weren't. He's well and truly made a mess of that car, that's for sure. And it looks like he's lost it under braking, but it, it looks like he's gone in head first into turn one. Let's see the replay now. You see him coming in. Oh, something terrible happened. It looks like he caught the grass on the right-hand side um. and slid all the way down the barrier. I've not seen that before. Maybe something broke in the car, possibly suspension under braking, lost its load and put the car into the Excellent side and slid down the barrier. Le troisième de ce warm-up, tandis que eh bien, les pilotes uh, Williams Renault continuent leurs efforts. On voit Itzar Alfrenzen casser son élan pour essayer de bénéficier d'une piste un petit peu dégagée. L'une des Ferrari s'offrir également un petit tour dans le bac à sable. Et pour Ralf Schumacher, eh bien c'est un peu plus grave puisqu'il termine dans le mur de pneumatique après une sortie assez impressionnante. Tellement impressionnante d'ailleurs que, regardez, la Ferrari de Michael Schumacher, elle aussi saute le vibreur. Ralph Schumacher getting alongside Herbert towards the first chicane. Ralph drifting across towards the Sauber. Me too. It was passing me as, as I was well aware anyway, and then as we came into the braking area, he's just, just squeezing me over a bit too much, and I just had absolutely no room at all. Pretty high speed to say the least, but yeah, I'm fine. Schumacher will undoubtedly have his own view. Peut-être interruption de séance à prévoir dans cette deuxième demi-séance d'essai libre. À la suite de la sortie, voilà de Coulthard que l'on revoit maintenant. Assez violente, il a mordu légèrement et oui, il percute le mur de pneumatique. Vous noterez au passage l'efficacité. Oui, oui. ouais. Problème euh, frein ou boîte, euh, car euh, il est parti euh, alors que le virage était vers la droite, il est parti en tête à queue vers la, vers la gauche. Donc vraisemblablement un problème de, de transmission alors que la, la voiture a subi beaucoup, beaucoup de, de dommages. Efficacité de protection de, du mur de pneus, mais également de, 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 de la gauche. De Minardi van Ukio Katayama staat in de banden en de kleine Japaner is met meer dan 320 km per uur van de baan geschoten. Zit stil in zijn auto, de doktoren doen het goede, hij is bij kennis, je ziet zijn handen en zijn hoofd bewegen. Maar dit gebeurde er, en het zag er eruit dat zijn rechtervoorbeeld afgebroken was. Vlak voor het rempunt gebeurde het, 322 km per uur op de klok. Hij verliest helemaal door de grindbak en komt heel hard in aanraking met de banden. Maar je ziet dan dat A die banden hun werk doen en B dat de auto's gewoon sterk en veilig zijn. Zijdelingse impact en natuurlijk helpt die hoofdbescherming die er in de Formule 1 ingekomen is ook heel veel. En Katayama stapt uiteindelijk na 10 minuten 5 in de auto gezeten had gewoon zelf uit. Dit tot grote vreugde van het publiek, want daar gaat het uiteindelijk om. Katayama wat rillerig, maar hij kon wel gelukkig zelf op eigen kracht weer teruglopen naar het team. Dit is de matiek die komt. Oh là, beaucoup de poussière, preuve d'une sortie de piste à un endroit. De qui s'agit-il Énormément de poussière. On n'arrive pas d'ailleurs à voir exactement ce qui se passe. Oula, ça a dû être une grosse, grosse sortie. On va la revoir. C'est Tarso Marques, le pilote brésilien de l'équipe Minardi Artoul. Oh là 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 là, qui a dû sortir très fort là, Patrick. Oui, euh, revenait un petit peu trop euh, sur la gauche, mis euh, ses roues au côté gauche sur la bande. Donc très glissante euh, du, sur le côté du circuit, même probablement sur le, sur le gazon. Parti en, en tête à queue au moment où il fallait amorcer la courbe à droite, très délicate, l'enchaînement très rapide. Vraisemblablement, ça va perturber dans ce secteur. Ah oui, euh, donc ah sorti oui. très violemment dans les, euh, dans les pneus sur le, le côté gauche. J'espère que non, il n'a rien. Et là, je peux vous dire qu'il a dû se faire une chaleur monumentale, Tarso Marques. On, on a vu juste le, le début. Ah oui, il est sonné quand même. Il est sacrément sonné. Le pilote... Euh, Brésilien de l'équipe Minardi Hard, vous l'avez vu, petite erreur de trajectoire. Il est sorti, mais à très haute vitesse, hein, à la sortie du. Le Prix Luxembourg Grand Prix, et subsequently erupted like a rocket when he was in second place, is in 11th position. Oh, and that's one of the Salvas, it's uh, Johnny Morbidelli. They'll have to stop the session for that, that's in a very difficult position. He's gone off uh, in the Dunlop curve, heading up the hill, the long, long corner we were talking about. 
and there's a bump on the way in. Janny's obviously, uh, I would suspect, dropped it on that bump, and uh, and he's gone off some way around the corner. Uh, I, I don't see they can do anything other than stop this practice. Session. He see him losing it, and uh, oh, a long way into Big the tyres there for uh, for Gianni Morbidelli, and you, you're always going to have a big accident there. Well, it just shows how strong the cars are. James Allen, you've got some news? Indeed, Murray. It's not the end of the world for Michael Schumacher. This was his third run, and he has got plenty of more tyres. I mentioned earlier that he only used one set of hard tyres so far today, Please so he's got a spare seven Canadian sets. Prix, and that is Olivier Parnis. It's a big one. Olivier Parnis, a big one. His head is moving. He, uh, let's hope he's perfectly all right. But that was a very, very heavy impact indeed as Michael Schumacher took the lead and at the pits from David Coulthard. Now, I'm optimistic that the fact that Michael Sh that uh, Olivier Panis is moving his head there, I think that happened on turn five. But, but let's concentrate on Olivier Panis and see what happened. Here he is. Now, he's coming out of turn four coming out of turn four and the rear of the car just started to bounce dancing away lost the rear end got completely sideways one impact on the right wall and severe into the left wall again that's a big impact yeah turn four very worried Cesare Fiorio and uh, Prost now uh, looks like he's got some problems with his legs trapped in there Murray but uh, the guys are trying to get him out very gently they've got to be very careful there may have been some problem there with suspension got a puncture to monocoque uh, anything like that they've got to be very careful indeed you see Murray just coming at turn four, the rear of the car starts bouncing, the problem that he's got, he's got one impact there on the front and then he has a secondary impact and of course already the impact from the first one has taken a lot of that energy and uh, you know, that's why he's just probably got some problems there but I, I hope he's okay, he didn't look too bad, he was moving his head around, he's out the car. Well hopefully the fact that there's a multiple layer tyre wall there will have absorbed a lot of the impact from Olivier Panis.